another day, another problem. So let's solve it. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to solve the Roman to integers problem. So let's start by figuring out what the problem is. So the question is we have a bunch of Roman numeral symbols and they ask you to convert it into integers. So the Roman numeral symbols are seven. The symbols and their value are as follows. So starting with simple examples, Roman numerals add the three ones to write three. The number eight is written as V and double I, which is five plus three, which is gonna be equal to eight. For 12, is written as xi where we add x which is 10 to i to another i which is 1 plus 1 to get 10 plus 2 which is going to be equal to 12. So in the samples above values are expressed from the greatest to smallest from the left to right but there are exceptions for example number 4 is not written as 4i the roman numeral for 4 is written as ev we use subtraction instead of the addition to get 4 because the smaller are before the largest so for example 9 a normal symbol is written as ex due of this exclusion we, we cannot can just add up all the numbers we will have to subtract some you can check the exercise question to check for the other exceptions but i think you don't need because the code will does the work before we get into the code let's see how this might look in plain english using this input string lv triple i so the first thing we're going to do is to make a dictionary and give each key a roman numeral and each value its proper value then we construct the result variable which will keep the value after each iteration and at the end of the function we will return the result after that we're gonna start looping over the string with the help of the zip function and the zip method in python takes one or more iterable as input parameter or argument and merge each of them element wise to create a single iterable then we are going to hold the current value and the next value so we can do a comparison the result decreases by the current value if it's less than the next value and that's the exclusion that i was trying to explain to you using the example four and nine otherwise we add the current value to the result and at the end we return the result plus the last symbol in the input string because we are using the zip function and we will always have one value that will not reach at the end so for the code explanation to be able to look up our value in each iteration, our first step is to establish our dictionary. So we can easily set up a dictionary with key value pairs since we already know which Roman numeral to use and the values that go with each numeral. After defining our result variable, we will need to set up our for loop with the help of the zip built-in function in Python. So we can get the current value and the next value for the comparison. Next, we set our conditional if the current value is smaller than the next value we subtract the result by the current value otherwise we add the current value to the result and at the end we return the result plus the last symbol value For the time complexity is going to be of n because we are iterating over the string and for the space complexity is o of 1 because auxiliary space size doesn't depend on the length of the input array means the hash table does not depend on the input size so no matter the size of the input my solution always creates an internally hash table with size 8 so we write it as a o of 1 constant time thank you guys for watching see you in the next video